If you are interested in receiving a free Bible, make sure you contact me. God bless you. I want to talk about something that some people may not like, whatever. Keeping your word. Keeping your word. What if I told you, hey, I am going to buy you a house. I am going to buy you not one, but two cars. <laughs> what if I told you that I am going to give you a really nice job, the job of your dreams. So let's say when the time comes for me to fulfill what I said to you, and let's say that I don't do it. How is that going to make you feel? Okay. Then let's say I come to you and say, hey, <laughs> I am so sorry. But for sure, next weekend, I am going to do it. So next weekend comes, and behold, <laughs> I did not do anything that I said that I was going to do. And I continue to say sorry, but continue do not or continue to not do as I say. What good is my word? What if you are a Christian, I guess, <laughs> and let's say that you are the type that can't keep their word. How effective are you going to be if you can't keep your word? Not too effective. You actually may hurt people more than help. Myself. Are there times where I say something like, hey, I am going to do this. Are there times when I don't do as I say? Every so often, I guess. But I don't make a practice of it. Now, I believe that some bad things may happen where you can't do what you say that you are going to do. Okay, fine. Now, if that happens every so often, not much, understandable, fine. But if this is a consistent thing, always happening, you not keeping your word, you have to understand that is lying. So how can you claim to be Christian, a man or woman of God, when you can't keep your word? I know for myself, usually, I don't like making promises. I don't like telling a person, hey, I am going to do this, or I am going to do that because if I am going to do it, I am going to do it for you without saying beforehand that I am going to do it because if I was to say that I am going to do it and if I don't do it, that means that I have lied. So usually, most of the time, I don't make any promises. I don't say I am going to do something unless I am certain that I can keep my word because I don't want to lie. I want to keep my word. How can you take me in a serious way while I am teaching you I am lying at the same time? <laughs> 
for every viewer that is on my channel now, I am going to give you $100 and the time comes where I need to give you the money, but I never do. What type of mess would that be? So our word matters. Because if you continue on and on, not keeping your word, you are a liar. You have a lying spirit. You pretty much can say, well, you know, I walked down the street and I fell and I walked into, into some mud or something happened. Okay, but this is happening all the time. <laughs> you not keeping your word is happening so much. So how is it possible that something is always happening to where you can't keep your word? Listen, admit to it, you are a liar. Which I am not condemning you of. This is one more thing that you have to change about yourself. I don't like making promises. I dislike it. I actually hate it. Even if it is something simple, I don't like making promises. I don't like saying I am going to do this or that. I don't like saying that unless I know that I can do it for sure. Because if you are always lying, how can people trust you? From the way that I am, and because I can keep my word, people trust me because they know that I am not going to lie to them purposely. They know that I am a certain way. They know that I am a man of God. So they may trust me with things that they would not trust other people with. Because I make sure it is not so much I am trying to please people, I am trying to please God. So by doing that, I guess, in a way, I am going to please people as well. But if you are always lying and can't keep your word, how are you going to get mad at someone when they don't trust you? You are a liar. <laughs> uh, keep your word. You can't get mad at anyone if they don't trust you. Because you are a liar. Yes, I know when you was in sin, blah, 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 blah. But you are claiming or you are trying to be a Christian now. And I am not talking about just one person or I am not pointing at one person or so because this is a really big issue. There are quite a bit of people, in my opinion, that don't keep their word. That is so bad. Just lying. A whole bunch of lying. Even back, no, I can't say that. I was going to say, even when I was in sin, now I lied, but I don't think I lied like over everything or did not keep my word over everything. That is crazy. That is a huge lying problem. So I pray that this makes sense. Stop lying. If you know that you can't do something or you are uncertain about it, don't say it. Don't say it. If you are not 100% sure, don't say that you are going to do something. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't give anyone your word unless you are like 1000% sure. <laughs> so let me stop here. I love you all. I am not trying to hurt anyone. 
I am not trying to point anyone out. If I was able, I would give many of you all a hug. <laughs> so let me stop here. God bless you. If you are in any need of prayer or advice, make sure you comment or email. God bless you.